Okay, welcome to Mobile Electronic Diagnostic. Uh, today we have 2004 X3. This is an EWS uh, operated car and we have a misfire cylinder number three. So we need to be sure that is this because of the injector, the coil or goods? Uh, we need to be sure that is that because of the injector or is that because of the of the coils? But all the coil is changed, so we know that we have this one, when we try to test the injectors, we are getting a problem with the injectors. Uh, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't go off, this one. The car is not shaking. So we need to know that, is it the injector problem? You see the injector is fed by this wire, gray and yellow. And the second one is by gray and, and uh, brown and white. This is uh, complete power. You know, it has full power for all injectors, one source of power. So we're gonna try to read the value of this injector here. For example, we have two injectors. One, this is injector number one, the last one here. And this is the second one, brown and red, and that one brown and yellow. So we can, we're can we gonna open this, test this value to see that if, if we have the same value here and here. Just a quick, even with the test light, like you can see what value you have from the computer when it's running. If we have computer commanding here, the same as this one, that means the injector is bad. If there is no command from the computer, it could be the computer is no good. But before we're gonna check this, and then the other way is also to check to swap the injector or just put a new injector or or just test it. So let's go ahead now. We're gonna put some connector here and connector in this injector and then we see the value of even those two injectors are good so we're going to see the value of one two and third and we compare it also it will help to see with the ignition on we should get power going back you know like 12 volt in 12 volt out and it will be triggered it will be triggered by the engine computer so let's get some adapters we have the sun that's why it's kind of blurry Sorry. Okay, now I am here. Let me get this. You know, I'm, I'm gonna take a small, cut a small piece space here, and a small space here, and then we test it. We come back. Now, the car is running. You see how the car is engine is shaking? You see? The car is shaking. Now, I'm gonna show you something quick. Here, we're supposed to have five half volt if the computer is commanding or noise, you see? We have 5.51.7. That means the computer is commanding this injector. You see? That means the power coming in and go out and computer is commanding. Now, this one, the second one. Also, you should get 51.6 or half volt. Now, this is the one that have a problem, you see? No commanding. Computer is not commanding anything. We're getting 13 volts. You see? Messing is full. So now it could be the injector shorted it out and messed up the computer. Or it could be the wiring. You need to open the computer and be sure everything is good. But what I know here now is this injector is working fine. You see? This injector is working fine. Yeah. You see? Five point something. This one here is not working because you have 13 volts. In and out, in and out, 13 volts. So this injector here is good. This injector here with this power is good. This injector here have a problem. So you need to change the, first of all, you need to open the computer, see the continuity. If that wire go all the way back, maybe the wire broke somewhere. If the continuity is good, computer connector is good, everything good. It could be that circuit or the computer is messed up. That's why the car is running bad now like this. That injector is shut down. There is no lubrication there, no gas going in. Because if it's commanded, it will have a gas. This is here. I have my best friend here. One of your best friends. And here is his shop. His shop. They do transmission, auto repair and everything on 3rd Avenue and 7th Street. If you have any problem on your car, please feel free to bring your car here. We will take care of it for you. 
and thank you for watching mobile electronic diagnostic please subscribe share and like and see you in another video this is Muhammad Harun Idris. The car that I work for it is XC3 2004. From 2000 up to 2009, yeah. they, they look like the same EWS and the same engine almost, yeah. or a little bit different. But the diagnosis and the thing are the same. Thank you for watching, and see you in another video. By the way, those are the coils, and those are the injectors. And this is a fuel rail where you can take the pressure you can check the, pre the field pressure probe.